charged five current or former IRS employees with stealing COVID relief funds, prompting new questions over how the agency can hold average Americans accountable on their taxes. FBN's Hillary Vaughn has more from Capitol Hill for us. So, Hillary, this scandal is happening, folks will remember, while President Biden is hiring 87,000 new IRS agents. Exactly, Sandra. This bombshell investigation from the DOJ kind of highlights that the IRS might already have their hands full policing the people they already have on staff. One of these IRS employees committed pandemic fraud in more than one way. A 38-year-old woman from Cardova, Tennessee, submitted loan applications for pandemic relief for businesses that did not exist. She also claimed to be unemployed to collect extra cash, all while being actually employed by the IRS. So not only getting taxpayer funded paychecks, but stealing taxpayer money at the same time. The U.S. attorney for the Western District of Tennessee saying these thieves stole the money not out of need, but out of greed. Quote, these individuals acting out of pure greed abused their positions by taking government funds meant for citizens and businesses who desperately needed it. And what they spent the money on will blow your mind. The five employees used stolen taxpayer money to buy luxury goods like a Mercedes Benz, Gucci clothing, Gucci purses and jewelry. They spent it on self-care like manicures and massages and vacations, several of them taking trips to Vegas to blow the stolen cash. This isn't the only issue, though, with the IRS that's causing some lawmakers to question if more IRS agents is a good idea. Last month, the U.S. Treasury Inspector General announced they would be auditing the IRS to make sure their own staff are paying taxes after reports found that over 1,200 of them did not pay their own taxes or were late to pay. The 1,250 employees were willfully delinquent on those tax returns. They hadn't paid their taxes. And there were 300 of them that were repeat offenders. Even one of them is in an IRS criminal investigator. So we've got to stop this. And if we're hiring 87,000 new agents, maybe we should make sure they're policing their own agency first. Sandra, and some of the excuses these agents used for not paying taxes, it was too complicated to figure out. Sandra? Hillary Vaughn, live on Capitol Hill for us. Hillary,